so let us now create a global interface and make use of this global interface in the in, in a global class and then use that class in our program that's a requirement that's what we are going to do now sc24 i'm going to create a very simple uh, interface zba underscore if1 and this is the global interface that i would like to create and this is an interface here an interface is something which can be used in multiple number of classes in multiple number of scenarios so this is an interface which has some declarations here interface one and say say so when you are creating a uh, interface you need to select that interface instead of class in sc24 just a second i'm sorry so i have one i have I F just I F create so you need to select this interface we need to change that as interface here and uh, I F one say save now in this we have to go ahead with methods and in, in, in the attributes if you want to declare some attributes a instance attribute associate like this numc underscore five methods and in the method I'm just writing some m1 this is the method and we cannot do the implementation part in the interface just the declaration part you cannot maintain the implementation for interface please remember interface will never have the implementation part just the declaration part whichever class we are using this interface there you can do the implementation part but not in the at the interface level so we are done with the interface in the interface please see that in attributes i created a and methods i created something like m1 that's it activate Now, once we are done this back, we are going to go ahead and uh, make use of this interface in a class. So, we will again go back to SC24 only and in the SC24 transaction, we are going to create a class CL and create So here in the methods, we are creating something like M1. So now we, we have to go for the interfaces. In the interfaces, we need to mention that interface zba underscore io. This is where we are going to mention the interface. And is it an uh, you know abstract interface, final interface, model interface? These all the things that we have. Okay. So at this point of time, let's not uh, get into these things. Maybe we'll do it later. But this is one we have. And methods. The moment we see, uh, we we'll come to the methods. By default, the moment we we mention that method. And uh, we mentioned the interface, the method which is there in the interface will also pop in here. Say yes. Activation can be done later. Okay, this is done. Back. 
now we need to maintain the uh, you know method uh, you know implementation for this uh, normal method i am m1 c1 So once this is done, once we have created this, in the attributes we have uh, mentioned this, in interfaces we have done this, and methods we have we have this, and uh, we have activated this and implemented. Now we can make use of this uh, global plus ZBACL in our program. So let me open another screen. I mean, like. C thirty eight Z V underscore G class IF So we'll go for this one as data. Uh, data obj it's not obj we always have to give i it's a it's a habit for me okay i am habituated to give the object name as obj but it's your choice like each project will have its own naming convention and before we start coding we have to also refer to the naming conventions of that it's very important c uh, not c1 that the uh, class that we have here zb and this was let me start up selection object obj now in this like we'll go ahead with okay this is one we have create object ob now let's go ahead and create this one like um, we'll go for obj m1 we are calling obj m1 then we have obj if1 m1 No, not IF1. The interface name has to be given full. ZBA underscore IF. See, if you see here, this 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 has by default has come. ZBA underscore IF IF1 tilt M1. So this this has come by default when we have introduced that. Okay, you know, everyone observed that, guys, right? That when we created the interface, when we mentioned the interface name and came to the methods, by default this has come. The interface name. So this is what we have. Say okay. maybe ZBA underscore IF not one, it's IF. That's just simply IF. I've added by IF. <coughs> Execute. So I am M1 from C1 and so we can have the slash and uh, once we get a, get a slash, we can have the next line. So we have this printed. Okay. So this is. A simple, very simple requirement wherein we are actually uh, creating an interface, a global interface, then using that, consuming that global interface in the global class, and then making use of that global class in our program. This is what we have done in this scenario. It's a very simple scenario. I think you can, if you want to practice, it will be easy for you to understand.